Okay, I want to show you exactly how to import uh, the campaign that I have for training my affiliates. Uh, I'm making this video just for you. I want to walk you through a couple of steps. The first thing you have to do to import the campaign is have a campaign prepared to receive uh, the email letters. So when you set up the campaign, you can make it uh, any campaign nickname you want, whatever works for you, campaign description, train affiliates. Um, then you put in your name, you set up a campaign just like you would them all, and here are the things you want. But I want to show you a couple of things that have to be added to this campaign or modified for this campaign to work effectively. First thing I want to look at is signature tokens. In your signature tokens, when you have the opportunity to create signature tokens when you do the campaign setup, uh, these are the standard tokens that you know it'll put in there for you. But these are tokens that you have to add. Now, what will happen is when you set them up, there'll be something like this URL tokens, and you would click new token. But you don't click the new URL tokens, you would click new text tokens. And you want to set up a couple of text tokens. And those text tokens would be text one, your SFI ID, that's mine, text two, However you want to close your letters, and I like to close my letters with just my first name. In text three, I include uh, my Skype link so that when they get these things, I can include signature text three in all the letters and they'll get my Skype links. So those are the three, uh, the three text uh, tokens that you need to set up, customized tech to tokens that you need to set up for this campaign. So once you've got those set up, another thing you need to check on, and that is capture form fields. That was signature tokens. This is capture form fields. When you set up your campaign, when you're done setting it up, and it's all set up, you haven't put any emails in it yet, but you got it all set up and ready, you want to come back to capture form fields, okay? And you want to capture some information from them. The first thing is your capture form field, you have to collect the email, that's a default. I collect first name, last name, split fields, and that's how these letters are set up. That way I can start a letter with dear first name. Uh, usually the default here is name only, just name. They can put in one name or two names or a whole name or whatever they want, but when you say dear so-and-so, it's gonna put into that field, uh, if you say dear, feel uh, dear name then it's going to put in the, either their whole name or their first name or however they added it so i want to be able to separate those two fields out so it's first name last name and i'll show you in a second what it looks like when you set it up but then you have to set up one customized token and custom two and the question you're going to ask them on the field on the form field is what is your sfi id this way you can give back their SFI ID during the training whenever it's needed or required. Like you might say, you want to change the gateway link to include your SFI ID, which is, and then you give them their SFI ID. Uh, so they, they're going to, you know, when they first sign up for your thing, they're going to have to go find their SFI ID. And that's what they'll have to do every time you send them a letter that requires their SFI ID. So if you capture it in the beginning, you can provide it for them every single time they're going to need it. That's why I did it. So now let's look at once I'm looking at these capture form fields and I've set these up, I go here, I can define my capture fields. So you set up your campaign, you come here, you see it says email address name. Now you want to define your capture fields. So you come over here and click on define capture fields. And this screen comes up, standard fields. See, usually it says just name, like that. But I change it to be first name, last name. So this will be, this radio button here will be clicked in this case. And this one, you want to change it to first name, last name. It, it's going to be required in either case. Email address is always required. You can't change it. There's nothing you can do there. Now, these other standard forms, you can add to the form if you want, but there's no need to, and my letters won't use any of this information, so there's no need to do anything else. Until you come down here where it says custom fields. When, when you have custom fields here, you want 
to change custom field two to SFID. You put that in there. You see this one says unnamed. You click here to edit it. You can give it a name and do all kinds of things. So when you click here, you're going to give it the name SFID. It's going to be a text field. And the form question is going to be, what is your SFID? That's what will be on the form. So you click right here and you can change all you can, in your case, input all this information. So now you have your campaign set up and ready to receive the uh, promotional emails that I have. So once it's all set up, what you do now, we'll just go back to the uh, campaign profile here. And I go to letters, I believe. I'm doing this on the fly, so you know I'm not 100% sure. Let's see, retrieve published campaign. That's what I want to do. So I go to letters, retrieve published campaign. Now I have all my letters are filled in here. I'm going to do this and step through it, but I'm not going to complete it because I don't want to retrieve a published campaign. Okay, but let's show. Let me show you what it's going to look like. You bring up this page, and it asks for two numbers. The autoresponder ID number, and I'll provide that to you, and a five-digit code, and I'll provide that to you. Then you select the autoresponder you want to add it to, add these emails to. So you drop down and you pick the name, you know, the name that you gave your campaign. Those are all my campaigns. You pick the name of the campaign that you just created to receive these emails, and you click that. Then you're ready to go and you click retrieve pre-written autoresponder letters. And what it will do based on the autoresponder ID, it comes to my account. Based on the five digit code, it goes to that uh, campaign in my account. And it takes all the emails and all the templates that I, and I only have one template in this case, but it takes the templates and the emails and brings them into your campaign right here. Well, this is my campaign, but you know what I mean brings them right into your campaign. Then you'll have all the emails. So now let's go back for a second. And we'll go back to the campaign and we're gonna look at the letters. And we're gonna review edit letters. And all these letters will come in, every single one of them, both the ones that are a part of the campaign yeah, here, here's the ones that are part of the campaign. They have the A there, auto series. And then any that I have here, and I have a few here that are not part of the campaign, part of the campaign but you'll get these letters as well. You can look at these letters. If these letters are something you want to pass on, see here's one on Mighty 101. Mighty 101 is no longer a product, and that's why it's. I wrote it as a broadcast some time ago when we first were using Mighty 101. And now we don't use it, so I've removed it, and it's now in my stored emails. Um, I could delete it, I suppose, but I just haven't. Um, but you know, a new way to get more rewardable tokens. SFI uh, announces, you know, something, and I think uh, there might be a good one here. I don't see. Oh, okay. Probably SFI is giving away Bitcoin. That was for the month of January. So I wrote an email, made a broadcast, sent it to all my new affiliates. Uh, SFI is giving away Bitcoin and told them how to get the Bitcoin. I don't want that to be part of the series, but I did make it a single time broadcast so that they could get that information. You'll now have this email in your uh, campaign. And if uh, SFI you know, has another month where they're giving away Bitcoin or they maybe modify how they give it away a little bit, you could go in, use this letter, modify it a little bit, and then broadcast it. But it's not part of the, the campaign. Sorry, my light just went out. And it's going to stay out, I think. But it's not part of the campaign, but that's OK. You'll still have it there to use. So let's go back here. These are all the letters. And you can bring these all in. They'll all be in the same auto series delays and everything else. I want to look at the template. You now only have the one template, letter templates right there. Uh, when you create a new letter, use the button to create a new letter. It'll ask you if you want to use a template or start from scratch. You can select use a template in this campaign, and you can select this template. 
Now let's edit this template right now so you can just see it. This template looks like this. Come on, there we go. This template looks like this. Come on, come on. You can do it. Things always go a little slower when you got Zoom running in the background. And here's the template. Now you're going to have to change uh, change this in the template to your picture. Uh, this all this information will be brought in automatically, so you don't have to change any of that. Here's my Skype. My Skype will come in here. You don't have to put your Skype, although I'd suggest you do so. You don't have to put your Skype. You can put whatever you want in there, but make sure you label what you're putting there. Uh, there's my signature name, which would be George McBride. There's my uh, the first name of the uh, prospect that'll come from uh, the tokens that he puts in. Down here is this SFI ID, and it'll be right there, custom two. So when the letter goes out, this custom two will be filled with his SFI ID. This is just an SFI picture that I created. And if I double click it, we'll bring it up. We should bring it up. Let's go. There we go. And you can see here it is in Serve Thailand, which is my domain. So it's my own little banner that I built just for this, uh, this campaign. And if they click on that banner, it's going to take them right to SFI, SFIMG.com so they could sign on and get going. OK, so that the, that's how every letter is set up. It's going to look just like this. Cancel that. It'll look just like this, except in here will be the body of the letter right there. So that's where I put the body of my letter. So when I create a new letter, I just put in the new letter and it's ready to go with this format. So that template will be a part of uh, the email group that you bring in. So you'll be all set to go with that. So let's go up and just return to campaign templates. So I just share that. Uh, that's how you set up a campaign. You can give it any name you want. You just set up the campaign. Just remember you have to add a couple of tokens the signature token, your SFI ID, uh, that uh, what I put in, in my case was the Skype. And um, what was the other one? Oh, how I closed my letter with my own name, just my first name. Uh, the other thing you have to set up is in the information you're collecting, you want to collect first name, last name, split fields, their email address, and their SFI ID. You need to create the SFI ID custom token and you saw my SFID custom token just created just like that. Then import the letters. I'll send you uh, via Skype the two numbers you're going to need uh, to create, uh, to import the letters. You put those two numbers in, the letters come in, and then you're going to have to go through each letter and modify them, i.e., the picture at the top is me. You want to change it to you. Uh, let's take a quick look at that just so you know where to find that picture. Let's go to, we'll, we'll go back to letter templates just to um, show you. It's the easiest thing to do. We're going to edit this template. And we can do this. You'll, you'll have to edit each letter to do this, but you should edit and read through every letter uh, just so that you can, one, agree with what I say. Two, I might have some mistakes in there because I had this training program before the new SFI. and there may still be some information on occasions that I need to modify. If you see any, you let me know. I've been through them a couple of times and I'm, I hopefully got them all, but I might have missed some. So I get my picture, this picture right here of me, I get with this link. Now, all you have to do with this link on this picture is change that number to your SFI ID and that'll be your picture. You don't have to change anything else. Uh, and uh, all this stuff should stay the same. OK. Yeah, I don't have it linked in anywhere, so you don't have to change anything there. Um, but the image of info, you just change this part of the of this URL to your SFI ID and that will be your picture. So there you go. That's how you change your picture. All the rest. Uh, you shouldn't have to change much else in the way of links or pictures. Uh, you can just use what I send in. Uh, but. I would go through each and every letter to one, make sure it's something you want to say to your affiliates, two, to make sure there's no inaccurate information that I might have missed, and three, uh, to make sure there's no links that point to something that I'm doing that you may not want your affiliates to participate in or uh, 
you know, I might be pointing them to an SFI link that's mine, not yours. If you want to change it to yours. So there you go. I'll send you those letters in Skype right now.